Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming part three of my shoe collection, which has been a long time coming. I'm sorry it's taken me a few weeks to get this up, but I thought it would be great to film outside because obviously boots are generally a kind of autumn winter shoe and it is very autumnal out here with these gorgeous red leaves. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you all about my boots. Now, there are a few boots that I own that aren't going to be in this video, either because I never really wear them very often or because they're in storage um, because I really don't wear them very much. Um, I never really like to throw um, any shoes or boots away unless they are absolutely exhausted. So a lot of things that I've had say when I was 14 or 15, which is nearly 10 years ago now, or it is 10 years ago since I was 14, um, I tend to kind of put them in storage in the attic and yeah, save them for when they come back into fashion. So, the first boot you guys will have seen before if you watch my videos on a regular basis. These are my black riding boots. I absolutely love them. I've had them for coming up for two years now, and I have to say, I've probably worn them over 200 times. I was trying to think about how much I actually wear these the other day, and I really do wear them so, so much. I definitely think a good pair of black riding boots is a total staple for your wardrobe. If you like this style, for me, I could not live without my black riding boots because I just wear them so so much. I tend to wear tights a lot with dresses and skirts in the winter um, and even in the spring and in the autumn as well because it doesn't really get that hot in England very often so um, I tend to kind of live in shoes like these. I also love the shape of these because they're quite flattering um, on your calf because they have this section of suede at the back and like a curved panel on the side. They tend to be quite flattering on your leg shape as well. They are honestly my favourite, favourite shoes in the whole world. They are a gorgeous black riding boot with a suede kind of ruched panel around the ankle. They're absolutely exhausted as you might be able to tell. The leather is really, really worn but I absolutely love them and I wear them the whole time. I've tried to find um, a new set of boots this year because these ones are getting really kind of worn but the more I look, the more I fall in love with these ones and they are from Russell and Bromley and Russell and Bromley have actually done an updated design on this boot with a um, kind of lace up back and it's a pet peeve of mine, I really really don't like lace up on anything, jackets, shoes, dresses, whatever. Um, so. I was tempted to actually buy the same boots again, but they have a lace-up on the back, so um, yeah, I'm just going to have to keep on getting these re-heeled and shined um, as much as I can and keep them going because I love them. The next pair of boots I have are my, they're kind of biker boots, they're kind of riding boots, they're kind of halfway in between, and these are really old as well, these are coming up for five years old. These were from Pierre de Terre like I said, almost five years ago, and um, I believe I got them in Selfridges with the, when they had their Christmas kind of 20% off. Um, they have worn really beautifully. I think they actually look better with age than they did when I bought them new. They have these two zips up the side. Um, they are a dark brown, so these are my kind of staple dark brown boots that I go for in the winter. I do wear my black ones more because I wear black more, but if I am wearing brown or if I have a brown bag, I tend to go for these ones, and I love them. So yeah, those are my pied de ones. My only over-the-knee pair of boots that I own are these kind of, they're almost like a taupey mushroom brown colour. Um, and I got these in TK Maxx for £39, I think. They're real suede, so it was a good kind of buy, really, for um, the actual make of the shoe. is really nice quality. I don't wear them that much, partly because of the material, because suede is really, really delicate. Um, and also the colour as well, like if you walk through a muddy puddle, these would get stained. But also because I'm quite short, over-the-knee boots aren't always the most flattering. I do kind of wear them carefully with certain outfits um, now and again, but I definitely don't wear them as much as my black or brown boots. So those are my over-the-knee boots. The only pair of high heel boots that I have um, that I actually wear at the moment are these ones from House of Harlow. I picked these up, I believe it was last year, um, at London Fashion Weekend, and I really, really loved them. They were on sale. I think they were £70. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much House of Harlow shoes are normally, but I believe they're around the kind of £250 mark. But they're a gorgeous black suede. They have a huge heel. For me, this is huge because I don't wear heels very often, um, and a platform. And they have this almost like 
elastic string stuff that goes around the ankle and it buckles up with a kind of one that I don't actually know what these are called it's like a horn shape um, like like you have on duffel coats and it has a little gold cap on it too which is really nice I love these and I've actually worn them loads because they tend to kind of go with everything because they're black um, and they are actually really comfy although I have had a pretty bad fall in these um, as Louise from Sprinkle of Glitter if you're watching this these are the killers I fell over in the middle of the road when I was with her and actually she really really hurt my knee um, but it was quite funny afterwards it's quite funny at the time it was painful um, my only other pair of kind of long boots are these cowboy boots these were actually a gift from my parents when they went to um, Arizona I think it was was it this year it was earlier this year um, and cowboy boots even though they're not really that in fashion I still really like them I actually have a pink pair that I've had for 10 years that are actually in storage at home that I don't wear very often but I always think they're definitely going to come back you know what I mean with cowboy boots they're such a classic style that even if they're not kind of in at the moment I think they're definitely um a classic so yeah I've said that already anyway those are my cowboy boots um kind of authentic ones from Arizona and they're really really soft gorgeous leather so I love those moving on to more of a fashion item uh you guys might have seen me talking about wedge trainers a while ago and I actually put my other pair of wedge trainers in my did I put did I even put them in a collection video I don't think I did. I think I bought them after my high heel collection and I haven't put them in this collection because I may have made a very very naughty purchase a few weeks ago and I bought these. Um, these are the Isabel Moran wedge trainers and I have to say they're a massive love or hate thing. You'll either absolutely love these or absolutely hate them. Um, for me, I hated them, and then when I actually tried a pair on, I bought some from ASOS, which are the ones that I was talking about, um, a, probably about six weeks ago now, and I loved them so much, I really wanted um, the kind of original ones. These are so comfortable. I've actually worn them probably more than any of my other kind of expensive shoes, because apart from my boots. If I ever buy expensive high heels, I actually don't wear them that much because I'm not really much of a heel wearer, but because these are so comfortable, they do have like a three inch heel about that much um, concealed underneath them. They're so easy to wear and they're so comfortable. I've worn them loads and I absolutely love them. So um, yeah, very naughty purchase, but these are my kind of shoe of the moment. Um, and then the last three boots I have are all ankle boots. The first ones I've had for years and years, these are from All Saints. And I believe they're called their Bonnie shoe. Um, they have this tassel around the edge and this kind, I don't even know, what, what are these called? Like, um, I can't even remember, but yeah. That's what they look like. They look very worn, but they actually looked kind of like this when I bought them. I took them in to get them rehealed a while ago, and the guy in the shop actually said to me, How much did you pay for those? I'm not sure whether they're worth getting rehealed. And I was like, uh, Actually, they're all saints, um, and they kind of looked like that when I bought them. Um, so he was like, Oh, sorry, and rehealed them for me. Um, so yeah, they're made to look very worn. I believe they actually still sell the same, same I believe they actually still sell the same style. Um, that was a tongue twister in All Saints, but yeah, these are those, and I've worn them, I wore them absolutely to death when I got them, and I don't wear them so much anymore, I kind of tend to go for the riding boot style um, more than the ankle ones nowadays, but I do still really like these, and yeah, I've worn them a lot. The next ones were a sale purchase, um, I actually saw these, they're from, I think they're KG by Kurt Geiger, they're from Kurt Geiger anyway. Um, I can't actually see, it doesn't say on the label. Um, I actually saw these in Kurt Geiger when they were full price, and they were £180 full price, and I really liked them, but because they're quite a, I don't know, they're, they're not really like a classic style, and they're probably not going to last forever because this is like a wool material. Um, but I actually ended up picking them up in the sale for about £39, and I really like them. They're super cosy for the winter because this is almost like a really thick sock. Um, yeah, I think they're quite cute. They have these three buckles here. The only disadvantage with these boots is that you have to undo the buckles to get into them. They don't have like a secret zip or anything, which is kind of annoying because it can take a while. But I love these. Um, I just think they're really cute. Um, yeah. I got them I think last winter or like kind of last spring when they when all the winter stuff went on sale. My last pair are my only pair of shoes from New Look. Um, I always see people wearing shoes from New Look and ask them, oh my god I love your shoes, where are they from? It's always, oh they're New Look and I never find them. Either I never find the same ones or I never just find anything that I really like in there. Um, it seems like I just have the worst luck in New Look because they do do some amazing shoes because I always see people wearing them. Um, but these are the only pair of shoes that I've managed to find that I really like in there. 
Um, they are a faux suede and they're actually nice and padded on the inside which is nice. It makes them quite warm and comfy and then they have this chain detail on the back which is nice too. So yeah, quite a, just a comfy brown ankle boot which yeah, I like these. So that is it for my boot collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually going to be vlogging every single day this whole month so if you want to kind of keep up to date with what I'm doing day to day then head over to my vlog channel. There will be a link in the info bar below. Um, until next time guys, I will see you soon. Bye!